A very happy Easter from St Stephen's Church. Throughout the world, throughout the centuries, people have greeted each other on Easter morning with these words, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed, Alleluia. They are words of great joy, words of hope, words that I think are particularly appropriate for these strange times in which we live. Because we live at a time of uncertainty, uncertainty around our health and that of those that we love, uncertainty around our jobs and our finances, uncertainty around when this lockdown will will end. We watch the news conference every afternoon from Downing Street. What do we see? We see journalists asking ministers and experts questions that they really can't answer because they're asking questions about things that are uncertain. And I think even as the journalists ask those questions, They know full well that they can't be answered. And yet as we listen, we long for those questions to be asked. When will this be over? How long will it last? What can we do? One of the interesting things that is in the face of this uncertainty, a number of people around the world are turning to prayer. So I'm told that in America, uh, 55% of people say they have prayed for God to bring this to an end. And that includes 15% who would say they seldom or never pray, 24% who say they don't have any religion at all. So in the face of uncertainty, people are turning to prayer. And yet, here's what I find interesting. If you were to talk to people about the nature of prayer and spirituality, many people would say that it is a reaching out into the unknown, into the uncertain. So right in the face of uncertainty, the irony is that people are reaching out to something else they perceive as being uncertain. But the hope of Easter is a hope that is real, that is grounded, that is grounded in the events of history. I was reading the account of that first Easter Sunday morning. It's interesting, on that first Easter Sunday morning, people, they didn't sort of contemplate or imagine or envision. We're told about people running, people weeping, people searching, people speaking. They gaze in wonder at a tomb, a tomb that is hewn out of rock, cut away, and they find that that rock is empty. Here is a solid and a certain hope. When we see Jesus on the cross, we know that God hasn't hidden away so that only the wisest people can find him. He's come into our world in the flesh to make himself known as we suffer Our God is a God who knows what it is to suffer. As we see the best and the worst of humanity, our God is a God who died for our sin that we might be presented perfect before him. As we look at that empty tomb, that rock, we see that Jesus not only promised eternal life, but he himself beat death. As we struggle confronting our mortality, he shows us that he's the one who can lead us through death. So here is a secure, a solid, a certain hope. Maybe you think this is all just wishful thinking. Well, I'd love to encourage you to investigate the history of Easter. After Easter, the first three Sundays after Easter, I'm going to lead a little discussion group on a Sunday evening at seven o'clock. We'll look at um, the story of the prodigal son in Luke's gospel. I'll talk for a bit and then open up for questions. I'd love to invite you to come along and ask any question that you've got. We'll do it on Zoom. Details will be on the website. But please don't think um, that you're not a kind of person of faith. One of the things that winds me up is when people talk about people of faith and those of none. There's no such thing as someone of no faith. We're all putting our faith in something at the moment. It may be our savings. It may be our family. It may be just that instinct that it won't happen to us. Where is your faith? What is it grounded upon? It may be that you're finding things really hard at the moment. Well, remember that the Lord Jesus is one who suffered, who suffered in loneliness. So keep praying to him. At the moment, we've had to close the doors of the church, but we're still open for business. We're still praying daily for our parish and our city. If there are particular things that you would love us to join you in praying for, well, why not drop us an email through the church website, and we'll pray for those things as well. We'd love to join you in prayer. 
It may be that you're following the Lord Jesus, you're trusting in him, but you're finding it hard to know why he is allowing this to happen. Well, let's keep a hold of the hope of Easter. At a time like this, we may be sad, but we don't despair. We may have heavy hearts, we don't have broken hearts. We will mourn with those who mourn, but we will also sing them a song of joy because the hope of Easter, well, it is solid, it is secure, it is grounded on that rock, that tomb carved out of solid rock that is empty. So Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make us perfect in every good work to do his will, working in us that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen.